Hello, third graders. Welcome to lesson 6.6. Today, we're going to dive into some multiplication and division number stories and look at diagrams <clears throat> that we can use to be able to solve those. Here is our math message. It says on your slate, right? So this is in a notebook or on a dry erase board. Record at least two different number models with a question mark or another symbol for the unknown. So something's going to be unknown here to represent this story. So take a moment and read through this. And I want you to think about an a, uh, equation that we could write to represent this. All right, let's check on it. <clears throat> here we go. We have Annette has bags of grapes for her team. Hey, get a picture of that in your mind, right? Visualizing is one of the most important things in any math word problem. Annette has bags of grapes for her team. So uh, team, what kind of team is this? What, what do you see in your head? What kind of team is she on? I know the answer is not there in the problem, but what do you see? All right, if she's on a football team or a baseball team or a soccer team, that's fine. Just make sure you can see her. In each bag, there are five grapes. Okay, so the bags have five grapes. There are 45 grapes in all. How many bags does Annette have? So what do we, what we need to think about first is what do we not know? Here's the word unknown, right? Un meaning not, not known. In this problem, what do we not know? Okay, we do not know how many bags there are. Now you can figure it out, but given the information in the problem, we don't know how many bags there are, right? How many bags does she have? That's what we're going to have to figure out. So what we are going to do is to write an equation, okay? An equation is a number sentence that contains an equal sign. So what I would think here, right? If we know that, that well, we don't know how many bags, so I'm going to put a blank there, times... Well, there's five in each bag equals 45 grapes in all. Now you can't, you, I put a blank there. You can put a, a, a question mark there as well. I will tell you what we do in fourth grade and then beyond is to put a, just a letter there, right? So B for bags, B times five equals 45 and then we have to think about well what would fit here right oh, or here right it's the same thing what would fit there to make that true so what number would fit there to make that true it's the number nine right so now if we answer that question how many bags does annette have in all annette has nine bags right? That complete sentence there. Now, we're going to be recording these on some multiplication and division diagrams. That's the objective here, right? Being able to use these diagrams to make sense of these number stories, okay? These multiplication and division diagrams, you can see, will help us to organize numbers of groups, the number in each group, and the total in each number story, Okay. Now, you never know whether the the question mark or the blank it, it could it is going to be here or here or here. So, for example, on our first problem, we didn't know how many bags there were. Okay, we did know that there were how many grapes per bag, and we did know how many grapes there are. Right. So we knew that there were five grapes in each bag and there were 50 45 uh, grapes okay and so our question mark was here with how many bags that will not always be where the question mark is so you're going to have to be careful readers in order to figure this out watch mr white as i uh and listen to mr white as i model for you how i would think about this all right, Anna has eight bags of rubber bands. Each bag has the same number of rubber bands. Anna has 56 rubber bands in all. How many rubber bands are in each bag? Record an equation to match the story and then solve. All right, so um, 
I know. What do I know about this problem? Well, one key piece of information is that Anna has 56 rubber bands. And that's the total, right? There's in all, right? And there it is in the problem. So rubber bands that she has all together is 56. I do, let's see, she's gonna keep those in bags. And I do know how many bags she has. See, in the last problem, I didn't know that, right? I didn't know how many bags there were here, but I do know how many bags there are here. There are eight bags, eight, eight bags. What I need to figure out is how many RB rubber bands per bag there are, not per bug, per bag. So I'm going to write an equation. Let's get some room down here to do that. My equation is going to be eight times something. Okay, let's put it, I'll put a question mark there because we'll see that sometimes. Eight times something equals 56. Well, I know my multiplication facts, right? And if you don't, you can count by eights to figure out how many eights are in 56. I remember uh, Mr. White's little uh, hint here, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what would fit here? Seven. The answer will be seven rubber bands, RB. I'm gonna just put for rubber bands. And in a complete sentence, how many rubber, there are, seven rubber bands in each bag. All right, what was something important that you saw me do as I was going through this problem? Okay, answers. You could have said, uh, I filled in this diagram, right? And being able to figure out what was empty. I read the problem super carefully, didn't I? I thought about what was in the problem and what I didn't know. I, of course, then needed to multiply at the end. But in order for this to make sense, right, you really have to make sense of the problem. You have to know what's happening in the problem. All right, let's practice this together. Let's just focus on reading and understanding this problem. Read that to yourself and picture it in your mind. All right. Let's see if you were picturing it in your mind. Um, where are all these kids? All right. And um, who else besides kids is there too? Yeah, I should have mentioned the gym teacher, right? What does the gym teacher want to do? The gym teacher wants to split these students up into teams of eight. Let's figure out what we know. All right, so we have teams and third graders, okay? Let me use uh, our, our point here. So our groups, in the last problems it was groups, but in this problem, it's going to be teams. Number of teams is going to go here. Do we know the number of teams? We do not right? We don't know the number of teams. In fact, the question says, how many teams can they make? We don't know the number of teams. They're our next, uh, let's put the last one on here. We are talking about third graders, aren't we? Third graders, third graders in all. We do know how many third graders there are. How many third graders are there? 72. 72 third graders, 72 T G T G for third graders. I'm just abbreviating because it's kind of hard to write long words with, with my uh, online marker here. All right. And then here, look, we're going to put these together. How many third graders per team? Third graders per team. Okay. So we've got that, that's gonna go right here. How many third graders per team? Do you know how many third graders are going to be on each team? Yes, we do. We do, we do. Teams of eight. And so the unknown is right here. So I would like for you to write an equation. Hey, we've talked about what we know. I want you to write an equation that shows this information. Use multiplication 
write an equation. All right, here's what you should have written. Okay, you should have written a question mark or a blank or a letter. It doesn't matter what you put there as long as you leave it empty. Times eight equals 72. Okay, right? so what would make that true? Did you say nine? Nine would fit here. Nine times eight equals 72. Nine teams. Right? I have to label my answer, nine teams. As a complete sentence, I'm gonna use a piece of the question. They can make, or the, the teacher can make, nine teams. All right, you think you're ready? Your uh, assignment here, we're gonna go on to yours. There's our objective, right? We're making sense of these multiplication and division diagrams. You have some to complete as well. For each one, let's zoom in on this a little bit here. Well, that was worse. You are going to read the question, okay? And I know it, look, it looks like two pages. It, it, it is two pages, but you can see that, you know, for each problem, there's not a ton to write. You're going to be reading the problem, okay? You're going to uh, choose... Oh, it looks like we're gonna choose a letter here. So when I was talking about the B for bags, that's what you're going to do here as well. Should have done that on the, the other one as well. And then you're going to fill in these, these the, how many gift bags? Well, you gotta read this. How many stickers per gift bag and how many stickers in all? There will be one of these that you don't know, okay? And then it is your job to then try to write the number model and find the answer. Okay, so this is what you're working on today. Here's number one and number two. And then number three, yes, try number four. Yes, try it. Will it be the easiest one on the page? Nope. Will it probably be the hardest one? Yep. But I want you to try it anyway. Okay, this is using these. These are called diagrams, right? These are multiplication and division diagrams to help us um, try to make sense of these multiplication problems. If you need any help with anything, please reach out, let me know, and good luck.